That's good. G'day, Mia. G'day, Jet. All right, so I'll just quickly recap. So to, you still yeah. got that, you still got that Lilo, is that Lilo or Stitch Hutch? Yeah. Nice. Have you just woken up? You look, no. You look a bit sleepy to me. All right, I'll um, I'll just quickly read. Hey, Tyrell, how are you, mate? So what we're going to do, everyone has read and listened to Chapter 4 of Barung today before they came in. So we're going to work together. We're going to identify the important information from that chapter and we're going to summarise it together today. And then that will help us when we come to summarising our own readings later on in the reading activity. Yeah, does that sound fair? All right, so what I'd like you to do for a start, so everyone's either got a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker or a piece of paper and a dark coloured texter. I know I don't usually say don't write in texter, don't I? But if we're using paper, the dark coloured texter just makes it stand out a lot more on the camera. Okay. So can we, on your whiteboards or paper, for a start, can you do tell me, oh, oh, where? Where is Barung set? So I just need you to write where, question mark, and then where it's set, please. Then after that, when? Then after that, who? So where is it set? When is it set? Who is the main character or characters? What is the current problem? How might they solve that? All right. So all do that, please, on your whiteboards or on your paper, and then we'll have a chat about it. I'll give you, I don't know, three or four minutes to work on that. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. With who? With who? Yeah, I'm listening. Um, is that the one with the problem? Yeah. So who who is the main character so far, or characters? There might be more than one, right in there. So remember, we're only doing this chapter too. So who's the focus of this chapter? that you listened to and read today? The person's name. So where is it set? When is it set? Who, what, and how? How might, how? Sometimes in a chapter you don't get a solution to the problem, do you? So how might have to be a bit of a prediction about what might happen or how might they solve it? Yeah? Is the little boy's name again? I don't know. You read it. Can anyone help LJ out? Remember, get help, give help. How do you pronounce it? Um. Check the chat box as well, Elsie. I've just put some in there and Harry's giving you some help. When you're done, just hold it up so I can see it, and then we'll move on. Well, Abaru, I think, isn't it? That's how you'd say that, isn't it? Remember to use our strategies.
Sally one? Do you think she is? Yeah. Do you think she is? Remember, we've spoken a lot about when we read a book that we can all interpret things differently too, can't we? We can all read the same piece of text and all bring take different things out of it, and that's and that's okay. All right. So, can someone please share with me where this this chapter is set, Ev? Uh, it's set in Sydney Cove, New South Wales. This chapter specifically, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, thank you. Can someone tell me when it was set? Kelsey? December 1789. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, possibly got Tali. Can you please tell me who? Tell me who the main character or characters are in Chapter Four, please. Tali, can you please tell me who are the main characters or character in Chapter 4, please? If you haven't read the reading and listened to the recording, you need to go and do that now because you're supposed to do that before the WebEx today. And Tiles, if you need, you need some help, check the, check the chat box because some people are putting some things in there for you. All right, so we've got Barney and Elise, Abaru, Mr. And Mrs. Johnson. Who would we say is the main character out of those guys for Chapter 4? Jensen? Oh, wrong button. Um, Barney. Sorry, mate. Elsie and Abaru. Barney, Elsie and Abaru. Yeah, gotcha. So there are our three main characters. In Chapter 4 specifically, because that's the one we're talking about, is there a, a specific problem or there's something they're trying to address, Harry? Not really. So what did they what was happening in chapter four? What were they talking about? Um when they were having dinner. So they what? When they were having dinner. Okay. So it mightn't be a problem, but it might be what they were doing. What do you reckon? Having dinner? All right. Did anything else that we could put down as what in that chapter, Mia? Oh, good one, Ed. Mrs. Johnson, um, being pregnant? Oh, don't, don't think she was. Okay. Maya, did you hear me before? Yeah. Oh, just not answering? No, I, I'm trying to remember what 
Okay. That's yeah. fair enough. That's fair enough, mate. So can anyone tell me, uh, maybe LJ, we've got where Mrs. J was trying to help Elsie talk. How was Mrs. J trying to help Elsie talk? What was she doing? She was asking. She was... Remember, get help, give help. So if anyone can give LJ some help, put it in the chat box. He whispering to her, like, and telling her stuff. Do her, and what? Telling her stuff. Like what? Can you give me an example of something she was telling her? Um, she was, like, asking questions. Okay. Nice one. Like telling her to ask questions. Yep. All right. So when we, so that's okay. So when we come to do, can everyone hold up their whiteboards and pieces of paper so I can see what you've got on there, please? Good, Maya. Good, Kels. Good, Elge. Good one. So. Remember, when we're talking about doing a summary, we're talking about a concise summary, aren't we? Remember we unpacked the word concise the other day and it was putting a lot of information into a really short burst. So a concise summary might only be maybe three sentences, maybe four. How would we summarise that chapter really concisely? Let, let's have a look at this. Hey, give me. Oh. So who was who was eating dinner? Who was having dinner, Ev? Uh Sally. Uh Barney. Um, Abaru, Alice, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Yep. And two convicts. All right. Where were they having dinner? Uh, at Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Johnson's. Table, dinner table. Whoops, wrong button, Nick. All right. How, what do you think about that for a start? Would anyone do any, someone read that back to me, Harry? Barung and her secret friend, Sally, Barney, Abaru, Elsie, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, and two convicts were having dinner at Mr. and Mrs. Johnson's house. Okay, does anyone, how does that sound for everyone at the, for the start of the summary? Does that, does that pretty much hit, hit it on the head? All right. Nice one. So, what happened while they were to while they were having dinner? Did they have a discussion or talk about anything? Who else is here that I can ask? Kelsey, while they were having dinner, did they discuss anything or did something happen? Remember to look at the chat box if someone's helping you. Asking questions. Who was? Elsie. Elsie. I mean... So Elsie was asking questions about what?
Oh. Not Elsie. Oh, who? Um. Who? Sally? Ev, you put up there she was asking questions. Who's she? We'll sit here till lunchtime if we have to. Who was asking questions at dinner? Chat box. Who? Evan wrote it in the chat box. Oh, thanks, Ev. During dinner. What happened after she asked the question? Convicts. They were convicts. How did they know they were convicts? <laughs> if you don't want to say it out loud, type it in the chat box or write it on your whiteboard and hold it up. They didn't say. Okay. So we've got that up above here. We've got she was whispering and telling her stuff and helping Elsie talk. Where did that happen in the chapter? What? How can we add that into our summary? Mayor Jensen. What did they have for dinner? Yeah, got that one. Thanks, Harry. Mia, what did they have for dinner? Writing it in chat. Yeah, that's cool. You can write it in chat. Boiled potatoes. Ooh, for dinner, they had boiled potatoes. Hey. Okay. What did they do after dinner? Have pudding with a little bit of meat in it. Ah. Can anyone uh, can remember the name of that pudding? It was a strange word, wasn't it? Peas. Nice pick up, LJ. That was really nice.
All right, so see what see how this sounds. And you tell me if we need to add something. <clears throat> In Chapter 4 of Barung, The Secret Friend, Sally, Barney, Abaru, Elsie and Mr and Mrs Johnson and two convicts were having dinner at Mr and Mrs Johnson's house. During dinner, Mrs Johnson asked Abaru what she saw at the beach and Abaru replied that there were men on the beach. The men were convicts. For dinner, they had boiled potatoes plus a peas pudding with a little bit of meat in it. They also had cabbages. As plus cabbage, did they? They also had cabbage. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a very nice dinner. Yeah, gotcha. So the yeah. is for dinner they had boiled potatoes, cabbage, plus a peas pudding with a little bit of meat in it. Yeah? And carrot. All right. So after after they were having dinner and they were talking about the convicts at the beach, how did and we know that she asked Elsie, um, trying to help Elsie at the end. Is that how the chapter ended with Mrs. J trying to help Elsie talk? After dinner, Mrs. J tried to help Elsie talk? Mm. Or not? Not. Uh, what else happened, Ev? Um, Mr. Johnson made Elsie, oh, not Elsie, um, Aber no, not Barney, a better camp bed. Oh. From yep. Mm -hmm. For him to sleep in. And it was near potatoes and all that. Yeah. So could we say it was near the food? Near the food. Yep. Yeah. Then what happened? Then did they... they... That... Sorry? Then they what? Then what? Did they go to bed? Um, no, they would have a really good dream because of all the food that was around. Oh. Okay, so Barney thought he'd have a good dream because he was near the food. All right. How, so how did the chapter finish? Because we need to we, remember we're doing a concise summary, so we need to wind this up a bit. So how how can we finish this? Jensen, any ideas how we can finish? Ev. <laughs> Got it. Hello? Um, Mr. Johnson, or this was a part of the book. Yeah. Um, Mr. Johnson was also praying at the oh, end. Is that how they finished? Yeah, he was praying at the end for um Elsie to talk. Uh, okay. Yep. Yep. I think that's a good way to finish the chapter, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, so have a listen to this, guys and girls. In Chapter 4 of Barung, The Secret Friend, friend Sally, Barney, Abaru, Elsie, Mr and Mrs Johnson and two convicts were having dinner at Mr and Mrs Johnson's house. During dinner, Mrs Johnson asked Abaru what she saw at the beach and Abaru replied that there were men on the beach. The men were convicts. For dinner, they had boiled potatoes, cabbage, plus a peas pudding with a little bit of meat in it. I didn't put the carrots in there, Jay, but... Yeah. Mr Johnson then made Barney a camp bed that was near the food. Barney thought he would have a really good dream because it was near the food. After supper, Mr. Johnson once again prayed for Elsie to talk. Is that a reasonable summary of chapter four? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So can you see how we did that little bit of planning at the start to pull some information out and then we put it into a nice little concise summary? I mean, if we read that out, that would probably take about a minute. So that's, that's what we're looking to do with our, our own readings that are dropping now while, whilst you're in here.
So I'll post this recording to Seesaw if you want, if you want to have another look at it. But does that help with um, the summarising you guys are going to do today? Yeah. Yeah, good. All right. Sweet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop sharing that. All right, you're back. Anyone have any questions about what we just did? All good? All right. Well, have a guess what? We're done. So you can go. Keep an eye on Seesaw. I'll pop this recording up in a moment. And uh, have a great day. Any questions, shoot them through. Okay. All right. See you. Please, Nick.